guns firing 30 rounds in a little more than a second. This tiny device called a switch added on, turning a regular gun into an automatic weapon, enabling the gun to fire as much as the magazine holds in one trigger pull instead of one round at a time. When 12 News first started investigating the growing number of switches on the street in August, Milwaukee police had recovered 64 automatic guns, almost the same number the department recovered in all of 2022. Since then, that number has basically doubled. Milwaukee police say they've recovered 122 automatic firearms so far in 2023, almost 10 times the number that they recovered in 2020. Milwaukee Police Association President Andrew Wagner says automatic guns make it more dangerous for Milwaukee police officers. You believe that device or that, that gun is then outgunning potentially Milwaukee police officers? Right. I mean, you're, if you're in a gun battle with, an, with, a, with a suspect and he has automatic fire um, on his weapon or his rifle and we're, we're, you know, we're semi-automatic, that, that's, that's a disadvantage for us um, as police officers try to apprehend that person. The illegal device, often called an auto sear or a switch, is cheap to buy and can be purchased online or 3D printed. I don't know if I, I, I say it's shocking, but I think it's getting easier and easier probably to produce automatic weapons, especially with online. You can get toolkits and then you can watch videos. Just this week, police issued an arrest warrant for Anthony Johnson, who prosecutors believe was buying gun parts online for the last two years, building automatic pistols and selling them. Yet another example of the increase of illegal automatic guns on Milwaukee city streets. In Milwaukee, James Stratton, WISN 12 News. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms is seeing a spike across the country as well. The ATF says numbers nationally are currently doubling every year. A conviction in Wisconsin can land a person in prison up to six years.